Hey, it's Tim here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a new feature in Tableau 2019.2. And it's the ability to swap sheets inside of a dashboard. Now I've opened up a sample workbook that comes with Tableau. And what I'd like to do is replace this filled map here on the left-hand side with another map that I've actually built. Uh, assume maybe you got feedback and someone said they maybe wanted the map style to change. And in this case, I've changed it to a circle map and I've used the new vector capability in 2019.2 for maps. So what I'd like to do is inside of this overview dashboard, I'd like to swap the circle map for this field map. Now, I must admit, the first time I actually heard about this feature, it took me a while to find it. I actually needed to use the instructions. It's not available when you search for it uh, up here. So in Max, you can search um, the menu system and you can see that there's no real um, option up here. There's clear sheet and describe sheet. If you right click on the sheet you'd like to replace, you'd see there's nothing here. If you right click on the sheet you're gonna replace it with, there's also nothing there. So all the usual sort of interface mechanisms don't exist. It's a very, very subtle thing to, to do. First, you have to click on the sheet you'd like to replace then hover over the new one and you'll see here you get this new icon appear, which when you hover over it for long enough tells you that that's how you swap the sheets. So I kind of wish this was a little bit more visible, but nonetheless, if you hit that icon, it replaces the sheet. Now, one thing to note, when it does that, you have to make sure your actions work as they should do. If I take one step back and I hit the back button, you'll notice that when I click on various items of this chart, the chart changes. It doesn't always produce sort of the most meaningful view, but it controls the rest of the metrics on the chart. Now, if I swap that sheet around and I click on this again, you'll see that it hasn't brought through my actions. So what I have to do is enable those actions again. Thankfully, this is an easy action to uh, instill because I just need to click on this icon to use the filter. And now that action works just like it was supposed to and all the sheets in this dashboard change. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, if you have some feedback, uh, please drop a comment and let me know what kind of content you'd like to see.